Lately I've gotten several questions about how I've made my most recent videos, and I also think the simulations I was showing in the previous one would be genuinely helpful for you guys to have access to, so I have two reasons to make this video. Now like I've said, I use Desmos, which is a totally free program you can find online, and honestly it's not that hard to use. The tool I'm going to show here only handles 2x2 two two matrices, but it shows the transformations, calculates eigenvalues and eigenvectors, so I think it will still be useful. Just to run through it real quick, everything's organized into folders over here, and the first thing I'm going to show is the single input, single output folder. Here we have a 2x2 two two matrix, and then an input vector plotted here, and the output vector also plotted. Then you can manually move around the input and see how the output will move with it. This here is just the rotation matrix, which is why you see the output is always 90 degrees away from the input. If you'd like to change the numbers in this matrix, you can just go to Matrix Entries, open the folder, then you can drag all the numbers around and watch the output shift with them. That's about it for the single input, single output. But the cool visuals you guys were seeing from the last video came from this folder, Inputs to Outputs. So I'll turn this off, turn that on, and here you'll see a bunch of points that I preloaded into the program. So if you want to see what this matrix, just turn on the matrix entries folder, this matrix is going to do to all these points what the new outputs are going to be when they're multiplied by this. You just hit the play button for this variable s. So these are all the outputs and you can just drag this back and forth to see that transformation which I really like to watch. Now if you want to input more coordinates, you can just go here to input and manually type them in. Then if you turn this on, nothing much comes from it, you just see the inputs there. And when you do the transformation again, you'll leave a copy behind, so you have that, but I don't think that's really that necessary. And then I think one of the most useful things this can do is plot the eigenvectors and show the eigenvalues. Here we have everything written out and then it also plots the eigenvectors, which I really like. So you'll see like points on it won't get rotated by the matrix transformation like I discussed in that previous video. And then from here you can just play around with the numbers inside this matrix and see how the eigenvectors and eigenvalues will change, which is probably my favorite part of this program. Once you get to here you'll find the eigenvalues and vectors are undefined, which just means they're imaginary. So if that happens, all you gotta do is go down to this folder, complex eigenvalues, and it'll at least show those. And if you get sick of seeing the outputs, you can turn those off and then still play around with these numbers and see how everything changes. That's about all this can do, but hopefully it's enough to prove useful to some of you guys. Link is below and you're free to use or edit it as much as you want. It won't affect the main file. This was not a sponsored video, by the way. Again, Desmos is completely free and I just thought this would benefit some of you. If you do want to support the channel though, link is below, and as always, big shout out to my current supporters for helping make this all possible. If you guys find this helpful, let me know and I'll try to make more. If there's anything specific you think would be useful to you, I'm open to suggestions. Note, this is not 3 blue, 1 brown software and very limited to what Desmos can do, but still lots of possibilities. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next real video.